And finally, Turing, the most advanced GPU we've ever done, 10 years in the making, the greatest leap since we created CUDA, and computer graphics will never be the same again. So to recap, NVIDIA have just announced their RTX 2080 Ti, 2080 and 2070 graphics cards on their live stream and their press event at Gamescom. This video is a supercut of the main key points from the live stream including the RTX cards and kind of their information and availability, pricing and all that sort of stuff and a few extra bits and pieces. So let's get into it. The NVIDIA RTX is a platform consisting of architecture and software and SDKs and libraries that allows us to combine different types of rendering technology into one unified and cohesive platform. Inside Turing is 18.9 billion transistors. Now that is a lot of transistors. They also have some new processing cores, including the RT core, which does, well, ray tracing and can do up to 10 giga rays per second, which to give you a comparison, the 1080i does only 1.21 giga rays per second. They also have the tensor core, which is specific for AI and deep learning workloads and can assist in kind of that RTX operations, which is also pretty interesting. Also, thanks to the redesign, they're not only able to do FP32 shading rather quickly with the rather large amount of cores that they have in these cards, but they're also able to do ray tracing and INT32 shading all simultaneously, which is very, very impressive. They've also got deep neural network processing, which is also helped with the RTX kind of system or ecosystem, if you like, and this is only really affected by if you're running with an RTX kind of enabled game engine, so do bear that in mind, most normal games and existing games will not benefit from this parallelization. And they've got a snazzy new demo to show off the RTX graphics reinvented experience called Soul. They also showed off exclusive trailers for Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Metro Exodus, and Battlefield 5, which is actually a surprise since a lot of the Battlefield franchise has been an AMD title, but interesting to see. Battlefield 5, open beta September 6th. Then came the announcement that everyone is waiting for, the GeForce RTX 2080, 2080 Ti, which is a first for Nvidia, and the 2070. Now, the pricing that was shown on screen was a little bit iffy, but there are a couple of versions of the Founders Edition and the Standard Edition, and of course we're going to see plenty of add-in board partner versions like Asus Strix and Gigabyte Aorus versions, but either way, this is a very interesting card. The new 2080 Ti has some pretty impressive specs, obviously still featuring a Turing Core, still featuring 11 gigabytes of VRAM, although now GDDR6, and in terms of the CUDA cores, it's pretty insane at 4,300 52. In terms of the 2080, this has 2,944, which is a good amount lower. And then the 2070, which is kind of the, the baby of the, the pack, is 2,304, which actually, if you compare that to their last generation counterparts, is a decent bump up, although do bear in mind, obviously, that pricing hasn't changed that much. On shelf everywhere, September 20th. So there you have it, the new RTX graphics cards, the 2080 Ti starting from $1,000, although the founder edition is $1,199, and then the 2080 being $699 with again $100 more for the founder's edition, and 2070 being $499, again $100 more for the founder's edition. So, some interesting pricing. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Is this, uh, you know, are these cards something you've been desperate for? You're going to pick one of these up as soon as you can. Which brand are you going to go with and all that good stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. If you want to see more videos like this one, let me know down there too. And yeah, feel free to subscribe. Plenty of different links down there. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.